If you upgraded to Town Hall 13 today, what could your village look like after four months of playing Clash of Clans for free? What's going on, my friends? My name is Joe, and this is episode four of the Town Hall 13 free to play series in 2024, day 120. And how about the month of May? So many events going on with a bunch of challenge levels, a new hero equipment release, and the football camp, which means that I had to keep this thing going going by keeping the builders down for upgrade. So let's go ahead and jump into our progress base. That way I can show you what's been done since our 90 day episode. And we're gonna start out with those heroes. The Royal Champion is now going to level 23, which means that I did five levels since the last episode. And then the Barbarian King is going to level 72, which means that we did six levels on him. So a ton of Dark Elixir grinding going on, but at month, Four, we've done more progress on our defenses because we split up the heroes. We did the queen and the warden first, and then we did the king and the champion afterwards. So one of the things to mention is that if you wanna max out all the heroes at once, it's best to upgrade all of them, but the biggest problem there is grinding dark elixir nonstop for three different heroes and the elixir for the warden at the same time. So it's a lot of work if you are really into the game, then that's the best way to do it. But this time around, I was like, no way. I'm gonna split them up. All right, so jumping into our defensive upgrades, we did knock out all five of the wizard towers for the final time to level 13, and then the air defenses are all now level 11. We worked our way into hidden Teslas, getting them all upgraded to level 11, and then I started working my way into archer towers, and we upgraded four of those to level 18 before I realized that there was one more level on the hidden Teslas at level 12. So one of the things to point out about 13 that's kind of annoying actually, at least for me, is that most of these defenses on this Town Hall level require two upgrades. Unlike going to Town Hall 14, where there's like some buildings that only require one upgrade. And yeah, it's just one of those things that I just cannot stand. But anyways, we're backtracking on the hidden Teslas. We got two more to go on those and then we'll be finished. We'll finish up the Archer Towers, move into the cannons, knock out the bomb towers and go into the mortars. So it seems like we're almost done, but most of those require require two upgrades as well. Now, when it comes to walls, we did upgrade 63 pieces of wall, and that leaves me with 136 more to go. So we did make some progress when it comes into those walls, but let's jump into the laboratory because this is where I've been slowed down quite a bit. We did max out the giant to level 10 which doesn't really matter, it's giant, I don't really use them anyways. And then we worked our way down into a dark elixir upgrade, which was the bowler to level five. And then I got super lazy because I had a ton of elixir from farming those walls or farming the dark elixir. So I upgraded the wall wrecker, the battle blimp, and the stone slammer to level four. So those are max for this level. And now we're currently upgrading the recall spell to level two. So you'll notice that we still have a bunch of dark elixir items that we need to upgrade so i think i do have a hammer of fighting that i can use but we got to wait until those heroes are done before we can start knocking these out and finishing up the laboratory also when it comes to the bane of our existence which is hero equipment i did unlock the spiky ball equipment but it's still level one because i was working on upgrading the items that i am currently using so we did put a few levels on our giant gauntlet so it went up three levels to level 11. We also upgraded the Frozen Arrow to level six, but you'll notice that both of these require uh, Shiny Ore and Starry Ore. The same thing applies here for the Frozen Arrow. We're low on the Shiny Ore, so that kind of slowed us down there. And then we also maxed out our Healing Tome at level 15, which I think was three levels remaining since the last episode. And we added four levels to the Royal Gem. So this is actually a really slow process unless you make sure that you log in every single day and knock out every single star bonus and you're warring every other day those are just things that i really have a hard time keeping up with when i'm playing other games or other accounts switching back to our defensive layout if you are in need of a new home village base at town hall 13 this one will be linked down in the description now a little bit of a forewarning about this base is that while i was upgrading the scatter shots the infernos the expos the eagle artillery this base was getting three starred a lot but that's actually changed 
changed drastically since then, you know, since we finished up those upgrades. Uh, a couple of one stars going on here. A lot of Electro Dragon users. That guy right there at 99% got lucky. <laughs> I kind of feel bad for him because 99% always sucks. But then as we scroll through the rest of these and the event troops that were super OP, there's actually a lot of one stars, but mainly electro dragon attacks. Now that does remind me that we will be working on an updated strategy guide for Town Hall 13, mainly for war attacks if you are in need of those. But if you are wondering how much time is left until we are fully maxed at Town Hall 13, looks like we still have two months 15 days and four hours when it comes to the structures with six builders. And then our laboratory is three months, 28 days and 14 hours. I mean, who knew that Dark Elixir upgrades took three months, but that's actually updated information that I pulled just a moment ago. So yeah, Town Hall 13, we still have a ways to go. We'll see you in the next one.